Welcome to Very First Two TV. We're going to be giving you an insight into the hottest new launches. I'm going to be experiencing for you some of the new and hottest creams, serums, and of course, perfumes. And I will also be taking you on a sneak peek of some fine jewellery, from rubies to sapphires, and of course, every girl's best friend, diamonds. And what about you? Well, I'm going to be looking at the new spring collection of luxury travel bags by Carlo Pasolini. I'm also going to be test driving the new BMW i3 electric car. And finally, I'm going to be looking at some truly stunning cufflinks by GTO London. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's go. My little Chloe is something I love to have in my wardrobe. And now it comes as a set of three beautiful miniature perfumes. Starting here, we have the newly launched Rose de Chloé, which is absolutely sumptuous everyday perfume. This is the kind of perfume that takes you through the city, all the stresses, all the smog, with sheer rose power. Moving on, we have L'Eau de Chloé. Again, rose. Fabulous, powerful for a great weekend of relaxation and feeling strong. Finally, we have the original. Beautiful, pure rose. This is one of fabulous romance and if and when you have that opportunity to go on that promised weekend this is the perfume that you need to take with you. Let's take a little trip somewhere really exotic. This new perfume Aqua Oriens by Van Cleef and Arpel is just that and more. The bottle itself says so much. It was based on a jewellery designer's ring and you can see the beautiful blue, mysterious faceted stone with almost a lagoon underneath. Wow, one is really transported away to the South Seas and utter beauty and promise of lagoons and opulence. There's a pear smell, amber, it's intense, it's sensual. This truly is a wonderful perfume. Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier is a classic of the fragrance world. But this is a limited edition of that iconic scent. And for long-standing fans, this would make a fabulous collectible. Le Mal comes in the distinctive bottle shape that we all remember, shaped in the style of a male torso. But with this limited edition, it also comes with the addition of a uh, sailor suit and also the key ring, as you can see around the neck, with the anchor. I'm just going to give myself a quick spray. Just as I remember, sweet and gentle, but not too sharp and overpowering, with strong hints of lavender, fresh mint and bergamot. Luxury experts, I don't think you really need me to introduce you to this bottle, but she now comes with something very special. If you've noticed my new necklace, this is a limited edition that comes with accessories. The wonderful siren that waits there for her sailor to come and rescue her. And whilst she's waiting, she holds up her mirror and asks how long it will be before her love comes to her. Let's move to the smell. This is not for the faint-hearted woman. This is bold. This is daring. This is a woman that knows exactly what she wants. This may appear to be a hip flask, but you'd be foolish to drink what's inside. This is in fact Desire Black, the latest fragrance from Alfred Dunhill, the uh, historical British brand. Now I'm gonna give myself a quick spray and uh, test it for myself. Now I think the phrase that comes to mind when I smell this scent is warm, masculine elegance. The warmth comes through in the citrusy notes 
and the notes of black pepper also lend a certain spiciness. I would say this is a strong, decisive fragrance and, without wishing to be politically incorrect, is perhaps one for the alpha male. I'm loving this new power serum by 001, made by aromatherapist Ada Ui, who came from Hong Kong, which I've just returned from, and knows all about the stresses on the skin of urban life and pollution. The great news is that if you dare to share, this is a his and hers. Just a little drop on your finger and pat it on your face. This is all about cell regeneration and rejuvenation of the skin. The smell is sumptuous, it's oceans, it's like diving in an ocean. This truly is a remarkable serum. And I think we're gonna hear a lot more about this brand because it's very hot. Creme de la Mer have always been pioneers in groundbreaking face cream technology. And it seems that they have done it again with this new sculpting and firming serum. This is absolutely wonderful stuff. It creates a 3D effect on the face. It is sculpting, it is defining, it is refining, and it helps enhance the production of natural collagen. And I've been dabbing plenty on, and this is really terrific magic potion. I adore this new ring, which is called the Panther and the Poor Ring by JB by Juby. This beautiful and striking ring is gold-plated, enamel inset in neon poppy colours, and the entire head of the panther is smothered in rubies with the highlight accent being the sapphire eyes of this beautiful panther. This is such a terrific ring to wear either to a sushi restaurant with a pair of jeans or equally to go to the theatre with a little black dress. Great ring. There's nothing more exciting for a woman than to talk about mines. And just recently discovered in a South African mine called Cullinan was a large blue diamond. And this is set blue as the colour and what a furore there is over it already. Vashi have come up with such a lovely range to accent this new trend in stone and colour. What I'm wearing here and never want to take off are these beautiful blue sapphire and diamond earrings which are set in white gold with a very very elegant matching necklace. They have a beautiful ring to go with it. This is a diamond ring set in platinum which really accents the whole look. This is elegant, this is Duchess of Cambridge, this is beautiful. Now most people agree that cufflinks are the perfect finishing touch for a man in a suit. Today I have three cufflinks to show you. They are made by a company called GTO London, which are a quite niche company who actually take components from classic cars and reappropriate them um, into creating men's accessories. Um, the first example I have to show you, it's called Lightning Cufflink, and it is actually made from the component of uh, the Ferrari car called the um, Kill Switch, which is you uh, pull in an emergency. The second cufflink is called the grill cufflink and this is actually made from the uh, side air grill of the Ferrari 410 which is one of the most famous Ferrari racing cars of all time. And the third cufflink is called the bullet and this is, has been designed to represent the speed of Ferraris. And as you can see um, I'm wearing two of the cufflinks. On my left hand side is the grill and on the right hand side is the lightning. I think it must be very rewarding for um, a Ferrari fan who's wearing one of these to, to know that the cufflink has actually come originally from one of their favourite cars.
Very first two, Love's First and Luxury. And I'm here in Burlington Arcade outside Susanna Lovis's fabulous shop to find out what is being launched. We're very excited to be here with Susanna Lovis today in her beautiful Burlington Arcade jewellery shop. And you really are jeweller extraordinaire. Could you tell me a little bit about your pieces? These rings here, I have two of them here, which I've designed based on um, the items discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb. These are the sort of rings that were produced and I find the coloured stones, the semi-precious stones, and create new rings out of them. Now this is a, um, an old, what was the old top of a perfume bottle. And wow. people don't really use perfume bottles these days anymore. It was originally a Victorian piece. But the amazing thing is that it's in the, it's got, a, it's got an opal in the middle, which has a scene of a sunset uh, over land and yes. water. And it's extraordinary that a natural stone can come out looking like a pitcher. So I've made it into a brooch, which I think is now a very wearable piece. I'm doing a, a project at the moment with the Royal College of Art and we've given them a whole um, selection of old stones that are, were, we had in our bits and bobs pot downstairs and they are working on the project to inject new life into the stones by creating new pieces. A little bird tells me that you have a celebration coming up to celebrate the 15 years. We are planning a party in May, uh, which will coincide with the giving of the award for the student who wins the college award. So um, yes, we're going to have a big celebration and invite all our customers to come oh, for the day. Susanna, thank you so much for inviting us here today. And I've learned so much about your beautiful jewellery and designs. The best of luck with the awards at the Royal College of Arts in May and at the same time your celebratory 15 year party which I expect and I say on camera to be celebrating with you during May. Thank you very much. Of course, thank you. For international jet setters and high end business travellers an important part of travelling in style is looking stylish. Here I have a new range of travel bags by the Italian brand Carlo Pasolini. Um, it's their first range of travel bags for men and it's certainly an impressive debut. All of the bags are made with the finest Italian leather as you would expect. The first here is in classic Testa de Mono brown and comes with inside pockets and I'm sure you will agree it will be a stylish look for anyone on the move. They come in a variety of configurations, um, some with outside pockets, some with inside. This one here has uh, two stylish outside pockets, as you can see. In all of them, you'll find straps for um, ease of use. So I think these bags are perfect examples of style in harmony with function. The leather is beautiful and soft, but it also gives a uh, feeling of sturdiness. And I think all of these bags would look fantastic in any first class lounge. <laughs> The Ultima driving machine is green. Today we're at BMW to talk to James Lees, product specialist, about the new BMW i3. Hi James. Hello. Good to meet you. You too. Let's go and look at the i3. Sure. It's a fabulous car. It is, I'm a big BMW fan through and through, right from its classics, uh, right through to the new uh, electric vehicles, and they still retain a sense of pleasure. They're such good fun to drive, and they've also got a very good uh, sustainable background. It's the first of its kind to be born electric. The uh, pure electric version um, will do anything between 80 and 100 miles on one charge, um, depending on the mode that you're driving in. The range extender version will theoretically double that range up to, of upwards to 180 miles. So James, what would you say to people who question whether an electric car can be a truly luxury car? Well, this is where BMW have really put their 
uh, research into the vehicle. When you get into the i3, I there is a sense of premium there, a sense of quality. You have a beautiful uh, HD screen in the centre of the vehicle. You have all the BMW refinements. So thanks very much for answering our questions today. A pleasure. Fancy going for a drive? It would be an honour. Great, let's go. I'm currently sitting in the new BMW i3. It's the first time I've ever driven an electric car and I'm about to take it for a spin. The first thing you notice when you get into uh, the i3 is the lack of a stick to your left, which is um, quite a shock. The entire transmission is uh, operated from the steering wheel. Here's uh, everything you need to basically drive the car. It's almost like a um, push a button and go. And in terms of performance, um, it's certainly got a bit of a kick to it. Um, I've managed to get away from the lights very swiftly um, a couple of times. I must admit, just between um, just between you guys and me, that I might be a little bit lost here in the middle of London. But to be honest, it's such an enjoyable car to drive that I'm not actually too bothered. The fact that it's a quiet car, as all electric cars are, um, is also enhanced by the fact that it's rear-wheel drive. I haven't even thought about the fact that there's not a there's not a stick once, and. Um, it just means you can concentrate on the drive. It just means you don't have to worry about the kind of functionality of the car. You can just enjoy the, the way it drives almost organically. Now, let me show you something a little fun. This is the key to this car, but it's not in the ignition. That's because it works by sort of sensor. So it doesn't actually have to be inserted anywhere. It can just be sitting loose in the car anywhere you want, in your pocket if you want. And I think it's those kind of touches that make this car so unique. It's technologically advanced, it has all of the hallmarks that you would expect of a BMW. It's comfortable, it's stylish, it's nippy, it drives well. What's not to like? Thank you for watching this episode of Very First 2 TV. I hope you've enjoyed your luxury ride, because I certainly have.